Whoa! It's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm in the living room today trying to get the lighting just right to set the mood. Anyway, where to start? This is kind of an update video. Where to start? All right, first of all, this is a uh, Let It Roll t-shirt by Let It Roll Skate Shop in Las Vegas, Nevada. I always forget to like kind of hype people's stuff that they send me and, and I got to be more on top of that stuff. But what was cool was I had a box of stuff stored over at my friend's house and I just got it home and it's full of like every t-shirt that's been sent to me over the last couple years. So I'm stoked to be breaking out some, uh, some of the gear that's been given to me over the last couple years. But anyway, a couple cool things happened in the last couple days. First of all, some of the bros visited me from Pensacola, Florida. Some Illusion fans I'd never met before. They were on a uh, surfing road trip here in California. I'd like to thank John, Royce, and Steve-O for pulling into Malibu and riding some world-class closeouts with me the other day. We kind of had a cool surf session yesterday. It was just the three of us. The surf wasn't that good, but the water was super clean and the conditions were pristine and there were a couple of waves. They weren't great, but there still were a couple of waves. So it was super nice to be able to show the lads around town for a moment. And they actually took a pretty cool surf photo of the illusion trying to get stuffed backside. So I'm just super stoked when I get to actually meet Illusion fans from different parts of the world. It, I don't know, it's just a trip, man. It really is a trip. And then uh, I got, I'm gonna be on a uh, radio show down at the uh, Laguna, <laughs> Laguna School of College of Art and Design, I think. Wow, I'm blowing that one. But uh, we'll, we'll get more back to that to promote that. But anyway, I'm going to be on this radio show on the 21st of October. Pretty fired up about that. That's going to be a cool experience. And uh, yeah, things have been going super chill, man. But when everything's super cool and you're having a good time, there's always got to be a uh, counterbalance to that energy field. And the other day, I got this really nasty hardcore email from a friend of mine. I have this this friend who is uh, having a little trouble in the material world. You know, a little bit homelessness right now, a little jammed up, a little confused, a little lost. And, uh, you know, I've been trying to help her out. And you know, I've known this person for a long, long time and I've been trying to help her out. But, you know, I don't, as far as the material world goes, like, I'm just a guy getting by on, on, on love and positive mental attitude and trying to stay stoked when it seems like I shouldn't be stoked and, and try not to like let the negative energy get its claws into me. So this friend of mine, you know, I've been trying to offer up like spiritual solutions and, and ways to manifest positive energy, but they wanted me to, to, I don't know what they wanted from me. Just, just some, something I couldn't deliver, right? Like I, I, I don't have, I don't even, like I don't own my own car and stuff anymore. Like I'm very minimalistic when it comes to it. All, all I have is to, to offer is, is love and time and, and a shoulder and some ears and, and maybe some, valid advice but besides that like I'm not dwelling in this material world too heavily anymore and uh, so anyway this person sent me a, a really gnarly email because they know where the skeletons are buried in my life and they chose to uh, they chose to, up to to dig up some really dark stuff from my past and it's you know Fortunately, I'm involved as, as part of my recovery as like a crazy alcoholic is, you know, I've done a lot of work about the things in my past that made me feel bad and guilty and, and you know, I've come to terms with them. 
I've, I've gone out of my way to make corrective measures. I've made amends wherever available. You know, I've dealt with it, basically. So when this information came, you know, at first it was just like really a downer. Like, wow, gosh, you were kind of a kook. I was kind of a kook once, man. Like, you know, really, really just, you know, I didn't do anything like crazy, like rob banks or kill anyone. But, you know, I wasn't exactly the most positive person all the time, you know, and I inflicted some negative energy and some bad vibes on people in my life that I really cared about and I loved and, and, uh, I didn't, I didn't do right by them. So anyway, you know, when this person chose to lash out at me, it, it gave me a, it gave me a, a lens into my past and it also gave me a, a lens into my present moment and I realized a couple of things that A, I'd, I'd made a lot of progress in like my new life because most of us don't think we get a second chance but if you don't want a second chance you don't get a second chance at life and you know I think that's what my friends kind of going through is like you have to make a decision is is what's wrong and is what is wrong in your life everybody else's fault or are you the, the one common denominator in all the problems in your life? Like, hey, look, man, we all get some serious problems that are out of our control, but we're the only person that is consistently in our own lives, and that is us, me. I'm the only person in my life that's been in my life for the entire 44 years I've been alive. If you want to talk about, like, the holographic reality of the 3D landscape. But anyway... And my reaction to this person was, I, I care, I get it, I understand why they're lashing out. It was, it was, it was love and, and, and empathy because I've been where they are and I understand why they're, they're mad at me. I get that, that, that I can't, I get that they're frustrated. I can't help them on the material level and, and that, that I'm trying to help them, but they don't see it, but that I get where they're coming from because I've been there. And the only way I was able to make my life better was to, to adjust my internal compass, to realize that, that only I can change how I perceive the world. And for me, the way I changed my perception of the world was to like, become one with source energy and, and give my life to back to the source energy and say, hey, I'm no longer like driving the bus, man. I'm in the back of the bus and the bus goes where the bus is going and, and I don't have the steering wheel and I'm just a passenger in this whole thing and whoever gets on the bus is supposed to be on the bus and whoever gets off the bus is supposed to get off the bus. And so, you know, I may never ever have contact with this person again and you know, that would sadden me, but then again, it's it's not my choice. You know, I I love this person, I'll always love this person, and, and I get it. I understand that, like, we have to make our own decisions in life, and, and the hardest decision we ever have to make in our life is to look inward and, and deal with ourselves and accept who we are as a being, and, and you know... It's, it's not a solo operation, you know, and that's what I guess I got to look at is, you know, I wasn't able to change who I was by myself. I had to call in source energy and God and I, and I had to get with some other people and I had to do some work and, and process the information. It didn't take one day. It wasn't an overnight process, but, you know, eventually I began to, to, emerge from the fog of my past and begin to see the sunlight of the spirit and my life began to slowly change and that's where here we are you know people get to people are wanting to visit me from Pensacola Florida on their surf trips once again a shout out to, to John and Steve-O and Royce and then you know I had another cool experience today when I was uh Riding around surfing, I ran into my buddy Alden, and and Alden wanted to make sure that that I got to go surf down at the uh, the locked gate 
we have a, a wave where you got to have a key to get in. I don't have a key. And I was riding over there and Alden showed up and it's like, I just want to make sure you can go surfing. So here it is. Boom. And he keyed me in. And you know, all the only reason these good things happen is because I changed my own internal paradigm and decided to vibrate at a higher energy level and to maintain a positive mental attitude when Sometimes it seems like the hardest thing ever to do is stay positive. So I'm pretty fired up to be on this radio show the 21st. Tomorrow I get to go judge a high contest. Ooh, I'm pretty styled about that. Excited, stoked. We'll have footage from the pie contest, of course. I got another box of goodies that showed up from the... Uh, from the Dream Machine. We'll open that at a later date, but I'm holding on to this one, you know. Today, today was its own Christmas, so I'm going to save this box of cool stuff for maybe a day when things aren't going my way and, and open it up. And Because people send me stuff with, with a real positive mental attitude involved with it and a high frequency vibe. And, and I've never, the weird thing is, and, and maybe a lot of people don't understand this, I've never actually requested anything that's ever been sent to me on this channel. Any box that I open truly comes out of the blue. You know, someone will ask me, can I have your address? I want to send you something. Sure. But do I ever know what's showing up in the mail? Absolutely not. I've never requested any of it. It is just purely proof to me personally that my life is, is 180 degrees different than it used to be like four or five years ago. And, you know, I'm just super stoked we're all doing this together and I hope all your moments and time and space right now are super high frequency and positive. And if they're not, look inside, get quiet, take a moment, take a pause for the cause and realize that you are perfect. You are absolutely perfect as you are. You just need to allow yourself to be perfect. And uh, <laughs> I know, man, I... I would have said bullshit on that once upon a time too, but hey man, you know, it all it's all gotta start somewhere, man, and it can start in this very moment. Anyways, the illusion, super fired up. What a beautiful day it was today. And I just want to thank everyone who participated in Pete Mayot, I wanna thank you. I wanna thank my bro Keegan. I wanna thank the brothers. I wanna thank Matt Nosbush and Bo Bigelow. And I also wanna thank Trace. You were a big part of today, too. And, and also, once again, a shout out to the boys from Pensacola. Yes, Illusion out.